Hey everybody from the Clark Planetarium where we have another cool science experiment and this time we're going to be talking about physics and we're going to be using siege engines to talk about physics. Cynthia Chekets joining me once again. Hello Cynthia. Hi. I got to tell you I'm really nerding out about this because this checks a lot of boxes for little Krista Rose. When I was a kid <laughs> yeah. this is what I was all about. Honestly, same. I was so excited that I got to share this with you today. And I'm so excited because I want you to launch the first projectile. Happy to. Okay? Well, yeah. So we've got our several different siege engines. This is a trebuchet. Trebuchet. Trebuchet, in my opinion, is the superior siege engine. <laughs> but what we're going to talk about is the levers, the physics, and the potential energy at all. But okay. as you're, I'm going to let you get it ready. We're going to use a puffball projectile. Puffball, we'll choose the white one. Put it in the pocket. Okay. And then for those of you at home, he's going to pinch that projectile in the pocket and then bring it all the way through the legs at the bottom. And if you'll notice, oh. on the other end you is a I can big feel weight. It. Yeah, yeah, I can so feel you're, like tension. You're, you're storing potential energy by lifting that weight up way high. Get your puff balls on the way. There we go. And then I want you to launch it all the way to moon over there. Are you ready? Yep. Here we go. One, two, three. Ah! Oh, beautiful shot. That went really far. It went really far. Trebuchets are great for that. They were ideal for launching things over walls and to smashing down really high turrets and things like that. And yeah. They were really accurate. So cool. This is great. So <laughs> I love trebuchets and it uses potential energy by lifting that weight up and then mm. as soon as you let go, right, it drops it. Gravitational um, forces pull that back down. And there's angular motion if that sling that lets it go really fast and far. It's a lot of crazy physics steps, but there's a simpler way to think about it too. Okay. So over here I've got what's called an Onager or okay. McGonnell. McGonnell. I, I mix that up every time. And I'm just going to launch this real quick to show you that there's a different kinds to launch. Whoa! <laughs> different kinds of ways to launch things. And this one instead has a rubber band here. Well, I love it. The, the design is relatively simplistic. We've got popsicle sticks, rubber bands, and a little bit of glue. And right. <laughs> that's really all you need. Yes. Uh, they were probably using wood and rope. But yes. Okay. These okay. ones are great because they could move them around. They could have wheels. They could move them to their siege sites. Totally. There's an even simpler way, though. So I'm going right. to see if we can get one in before our time is up. So okay. we're going to need a stack of five to six popsicle sticks. Got them. You can use any size at home. And then we're going to just wrap them on the ends to keep them together. Okay. Got that. Yes. Oh no, yep. you're you're a lot quicker at this than I am. <laughs> I'm just super excited. Anytime I get to build something right? that could be like fun destruction, I'm I'm game. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our fulcrum. This is what our okay. arm is going to swing around and then we're going to make a lever with two mm -hmm. and we're going to only wrap one end. Okay. Wrapping one end will make this like a little um like little tongs is like how I like to think about it. And then, when you are ready, you're going to open the jaws of your tongs and slide your fulcrum in. <laughs> At home, you'll add a little spoon on the top, and then well, you'll see that popsicle stick bends, and as you let go, it'll launch Oh, itself. that's so cool! Right? Here's a finished product. It's really fun to launch some stuff, learn about physics, learn about how levers work and manipulate to store that potential energy in the beam there. And only launch soft stuff, you guys. Soft stuff. No rocks or anything like that, only soft Maybe stuff. Maybe water balloons, right? A water balloon! It's still summer. Cynthia, yes. this is great. Where can folks get more information if they want to maybe do this experiment or another experiment? Yes, we have tons of experiments on clarkplanetarium.org. Um, we have lots of virtual activities and then you can also come into our building and say hi to us. Oh, perfect. Clark Planetarium where it is free admission my friends. <laughs> yes that's right. Before we go I want to launch this real go quick. Go for it. Okay. One, two. Ah! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you Cynthia.